Hi, I'm Mark Fairhurst, and today I'm going to show you how I use Navionics Platinum Plus chart on a Lowrance HDS Live unit. Okay, this is how I have my chart set up. So this is my berth in Sovereign Harbour. So I have my photo overlay on full, my photo transparency on minimum, I have the shading on, I have the sonar chart density at very high. Now let me zoom you out a bit and show you some of these uh, fishing areas where I go. So you can just see these contours here which is absolutely amazing. If I take you over and show you a reef that I fish quite often, this is called the Horse of Willenden and you can just see that detail there. You can see all these like gullies which will hold fish and areas here that hold grass. Before we had these charts, you couldn't see any of this detail. And if I go over to here, you can see all this rock formation. And look, this is something that I was really interested in. There's like a ledge there. I don't know if you can see that. So when you're flooding, which means that the tide is running this way, if you stick your anchor in here and let your boat drift back here, you're fishing right inside these edges before we had this chart you couldn't see any of this detail this area here is the royal sovereign shoals and if i take you out and i'll show you a wreck so let's zoom out and show you a wreck this is one i fish often when i go conga fishing and if i just show you that without even having my mark in there you can see the whole of the outline of this wreck so before back in the day before we had these charts i'd sort of have a mark in the center and then what i would do is i'd zigzag across this wreck like that and every time it come up on the sounder the sounder raised i'd put a dot in so i'd get a concession of dots hopefully all the way around the outside of this wreck so i know where it is with this map i don't need to do any of that you can see the whole of the wreck outlined i don't need to have any marks there it's an absolute game changer and if i show you another area where i fish let me just go on and find it we call this the wall and this is a a deep basically a hole if you can see that there this area here there's like a big wall here and it drops down this ledge about 240 feet um, and there's all little cabins and coves in here i don't know if you can see that that cove area and this is a spot here when it's a uh, short tide i fish all this area here for congas you can see a mark there cod gully um, it used to hold a lot of cod and if i show you another area here this is a wreck that i fish quite often this is the lisbon and there's another one here the long boat you can see that and that actually is two boats look you can see the detail it's two boats laying alongside so they've sort of landed on each other there and this area here you can see these banks here these here all these indentations these are all turbot banks see and that actually runs in line with the tide another great feature with this map is i can actually do a dock to dock auto routing so if i wanted to put a mark in here so i've put a mark there and then i want to go say for argument's sake i want to go into brighton marina which is round here so if I just put this round here, and there's another mark there, and then if I push all dock to dock auto routing, entire route, that is now going to work out the exact way around there safe. You have to put in your uh, boat draft size beam and all of that, and then that will work out that exact route. So look, dock to dock, auto routing successful. So if I push OK, you can see now, can you see this line here? This has given me now a safe route to navigate directly round to Brighton Marina. So instead of, obviously, it would be direct through land, but then if you do the dock to dock, it gives you 
the safest route round. So that's taking me round the, round the ledge of Beachy Head, taking me right the way round, up through, and that's where I put my mark in there. When I fish the Sea Angle in Classic, I put a mark outside the marina and then moved my cursor around and went to Gun Wolf and I pushed there, I hit dock to dock and it gave me the safest route round. As I said, using these maps has been an absolute game changer for me. I can see all of these banks, all of these gullies where before I wouldn't. There, there particularly, that's a wreck that I've marked out, if you can see. So where I've put all my dots around where it's come up, but as you can actually see, the wreck is here, but it's broken up. This one's called the James Grove, but that was how I used to map it out. But um, yeah, I think Navionics Platinum Plus with relief shading is fantastic.